Brady, uh, two fumble returns, one interception return for a touchdown in a single season. Describe that feeling when when you know you're going to go, and does it ever get any less exciting when when you realize that? Man, it never gets less exciting. Um, the more the merrier, honestly. Um, but just, yeah, just to describe that feeling, um, it's indescribable, especially, you know, the work I put into it and stuff and the film that I had to watch, you know, to even be able to make those plays or even the drives that you're tired where you don't really want to, you know, push through it, but then you push through it and sure enough, the ball pops in your hands and stuff. So I don't know, just, just knowing that you put in all that work and then being able to, you know, make plays like that, it's definitely very special to me. And I know it's special to my family as well, you know, seeing me be able to make plays like that, but man, I'm just so thankful. Okay, we'll try Kayla again. Okay, Kayla, we'll come back to you. Uh, Terry? Uh, Brady, he seems to have a knack for finding the football and also for delivering hard hits. Uh, you attribute that to just natural ability or your film study and all? What is your knack for finding the ball? Um, that's just hard work, man. Um, really, the way to get, you know, your hands on the ball the best is just by hustling and stuff. You know, being around the ball, being around the ball carrier, you know, running side to sideline and stuff like that. That's really the best way that I was able to make, you know, the plays I had. You know, there's a lot of times where, you know, the ball just kind of pops out and it's right there, you know. But it's really just kind of hustle. I remember Ray Lewis was doing an interview that I watched one time, and he was just talking about the reason he got so many turnovers is because he was hustling around the field, you know, doing the little things right when he was tired and stuff like that. So I've always just tried to do that, you know, making big hits just because, you know, that's fun. I've always done that, you know, growing up, kind of being a big hitter and stuff. But um, definitely being around the ball, it's all about, you know, hard work and hustle for sure. Paul? Cool. Hi, um, Dane Brugler is one of the top draft analysts out there. He, he says that you played over 700 snaps of special teams coverage in three years. I'm wondering if that's a typo or how, how, that, that seems like a tremendous amount of coverage snaps. Is that sound accurate to you? Um, yeah, so every single year I played at Oregon, I played every single special teams, um, all phases of the game and everything. I really took pride in that. Um, but yeah, the number does sound um, – pretty familiar I mean maybe not that high but um, definitely somewhere around there just um, special teams was something that I kind of took near and dear to my heart and that's really you know what has brought me to the position where I am just playing special teams you know making plays that way and just putting in the hard work um, but yeah played a lot of special teams snaps for sure so ready to do that in the next level as well for the Titans thank you Buck yeah, what kind of what kind of interactions did you have with the Titans uh, prior to getting drafted, Brady? And did you have any indication that they might end up taking you? Yeah, I had a lot of um, good Zoom interviews with some of the coaches, um, you know, kind of through the draft process and stuff. Did a lot of Zoom and stuff, breaking down film, breaking down, you know, special teams as well, defense, everything. Um, but, yeah, I definitely had a great feeling about the Titans. I really had a good connection with those coaches, and I feel like, you know, they knew, you know, that I took pride in special teams and that I took pride in defense and stuff like that. So I feel like, yeah, there, for sure there is definitely a connection. And, um, man, my family and I, we couldn't be more, you know, happy and more blessed to um, say that I'm a Titan. So definitely very excited. Teresa? Uh, Brady, uh, looks like you opted out last season. What was what prompted that decision? And do, do you feel it affected your draft stock at all? Or at this point, does it matter with where you're at uh, with the Titans? Um, at this point, you know, it doesn't really matter where I'm at with the Titans. Obviously, you know, I was able to get drafted and stuff. But the reason that I opted out wasn't because I didn't want to play in the 2020 season or anything like that. Came back for my senior year, was ready to rock and roll. Um, but, you know, being in the Pac-12, obviously, we know it's kind of weird um, how they canceled our season, you know, last second. And then, um, yeah, I moved out of my apartment, said goodbye to, you know, my teammates and stuff, hugged, you know, all my teammates. Moved out of my apartment, moved back home, was training for the draft and everything. And then five weeks later, I get a phone call you know, for my coaches, you know, asking me to return and come back and move back into my apartment. So we had, you know, practice the next day. And then we had a game in four weeks because, you know, the Pac-12 announced our season so, so shortly, you know, we were on such a short notice. So really what it came down to is just like, you know what, it's such a short notice, you know, five weeks later, I'm getting told I'm playing a season now, you know, so it was, I was just very frustrated with the Pac-12. I know my coaches were obviously 
upset with the Pac-12 as well. You know, my teammates, we had a lot of, you know, a lot of ducks that opted out last year. Um, so it was very frustrating, but don't think it affected my draft stock just because the coaches understood how crazy it was, you know, with the Pac-12 and stuff. But regardless, I'm ready to be a Titan and I'm ready to, you know, make some plays and, you know, get on that field. So. Okay, and I've got Kayla's question here as a write-in. Uh, we drafted Elijah Molden yesterday out of Washington. So just wondering about your familiarity with him uh, as well as your thoughts on joining him in the secondary. Yeah, so uh, me and Elijah, we're good family friends. Um, my uncle Chad Coda and his dad, Alex Molden, um, were teammates at Oregon um, for the gang ring back in the day when they played in the Rose Bowl. So um, I've known Elijah my whole life. So it's, it's pretty cool to be able to, you know, call ourselves teammates and I'm definitely excited when I saw him get drafted to the Titans like oh that'd be pretty sweet to you know be his teammate sure enough I you know I get a call from you know, coach Vrabel so I was I was pumped I'm like dude I get to play you know with one of my lifelong friends so that's that's definitely going to be something special for us to be able to have that you know connection and stuff playing seven on seven and stuff in high school so we're we're excited for sure